Hey friends, it's your girl Anika Alexandra and I'm back. But hold on, wait though. But hold on, wait though. Friend, is you good? You good, friend? I hope you're having a wonderful day and if you're not, I hope I could at least put a smile on your face by the end of this video. So, before we get into it, if you are a returning subscriber, hey this friend, how you doing? And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. So that we could be friends. Okay, okay. So, in this video, you guys already know, well, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. You know, who knows? Maybe you don't. But let me tell you, okay? I love me some perfumes. In particular, Arabian perfumes. And hear me out. I have a reason. Here's the reason why, okay? They cost pennies and not coins. Okay? Okay. They're compared to many of these niche brands, okay? The ones, you know what I'm saying, that's like 200, 300, 400, 500. What? <laughs> the ones that are like 200, 300, 400, $500? Yeah, 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 yeah. Many of the Arabian brands be duping them, okay? And three, they're long lasting. So why wouldn't I wanna save my money, get something that's long lasting, and smells good? <laughs> Sounds like a win to me, does it not? All right, I know it does. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing out these two perfumes here. This one is Club de Nuit by Armaf. I always wanna say Our Fam. <laughs> Delexia be cooking in sometimes. But it's definitely all moth. And then we have Duran Wadi by... <sighs> Here's the thing. I'm not the best at pronunciation. I stutter and I twist my words around a lot. So, if I'm saying these names wrong, look, just correct me in the comments, please, okay? I believe you pronounce this name. Ard Al Zafaran. Again, if I'm saying it wrong, just correct me, okay? Because I'm trying my breast. Huh? What I tell you, I be twisting my words, huh? <laughs> no, no, you believe me? I be trying my best, okay? But sometimes, this tongue of mine, it be doing what it wanna do. Which one do they wanna open up first? This one's nice and heavy. Oh, this one's nice and heavy, but the presentation of this one is so cute. So I'm gonna do this one, because my favorite color is pink. And the presentation, I mean, come on, L let's get into the presentation. How gorgeous is this? And like the pink ribbon, like, oh my God, so fripping cute. Okay, so let's get it. Actually, no, let me tell you the notes. If you haven't watched my previous Arabian perfume review, then you don't know, but I love me a fruity floral gourmand. That's just what I like. Like I want, I want it to be like, I've been running through, <laughs> not ro running, okay. I want to smell like I've been frolicking through a patch of flowers, okay. I don't care what flowers. It just, just mix and match. And then I go into a candy shop and I just stay there. You know what I mean? That's what I want to smell like, okay. All right. And this one is giving me hope, okay. The top notes are berries, raspberries. And if you do not know, let me tell you, raspberries and mandarin orange is like my top favorite notes. Like, like I love, I love raspberries and mandarin orange on the top notes. This has berries, raspberries, pink pepper, bergamot. The middle note is roses, peonies, lily of the valley, okay? And the base note is musk, iris, sandalwood, and patchouli. Listen, I feel like this should be right up my alley, okay? I feel like this should be, let's get open. My, oh, oh, oh. Like I said before, one thing you're gonna get, oh, I smell it through the package. Well, it smells, I smell something that smells good. But anyways, like I was saying, one thing you definitely gonna get with Arabian perfumes is a good quality packaging, okay? Like 3D, I don't know, I don't know if you call it, it's not embroidered. 
because it's not cloth. I don't know what you call it, but it's like printed on and it's like 3D ray. So like this feels like, just know, you may not like the scent of the perfume, but you're gonna love the packaging, okay? Okay, again, I'm gonna save this box because it's, I mean, it's not like 100% sturdy, but it's, it's sturdy, it's in there. It's in there. No, it smells really good. Okay, so this is the perfume. So freaking gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Again, one thing you're gonna get is presentation. I don't like this though. Like this little thing, that cheapens it for me. Granted, it's already cheap, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I want, I, I don't wanna. Oh, and it's like in there, in there too. Now, I will say that I am smelling something from it already, and it smells good, okay? It smells, it smells good. The sprayer is, it's actually decent. Okay, wait a minute, because this is giving me spring. This is giving me like, okay, very weird and very specific. You know when springtime has that scent where it's, it's, it's transitioning from winter to spring. Like, you know how like this, like, like there's like a particular scent, if that makes sense. Like, that's what it smells like to me. It smells as though it's as if it's transitioning from winter to spring. Like, things are, are blooming. There's buds on the tree. The squirrels are out again. You might see a butterfly. Like it smells very, oh no, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. This is, this is soft girl life. Like that's what this is giving me. It's giving me very much so. I am in my soft girl area. I just realized that this is already, um, Not rubbing off for me, but there's like some black, some black underneath. So you could tell that like the, the the print was all the way. But that's okay, cause I don't mind. It's not it's not like a deal breaker, but just to let you know. Um, I do love the color of the pink. It's like a pink lavender. It it's really pretty. I love it. The scent is gorgeous. It's giving me summer. I mean, not, not summertime. It's definitely giving me springtime. It's definitely giving me, we're about to go apple picking. It's giving me, we're gonna go strawberry picking. Granted, those are more so in the summertime, but like it, it gives me that type of vibe. You know what I mean? Like it just gives me like a, like a soft girl era. Like I'm in my soft girl. Talk to me nice or don't talk to me at all. Okay. okay. On my skin, I'm definitely picking up the, bur the bergamot like that like orangey zesty vibe i definitely smell the, the peonies that also comes through i'm trying to think if it's musk or iris that's like picking up now i definitely want to say it's a musk i definitely want to say it's a musk that i'm picking up now but it's cute it's very cute now again i haven't seen many reviews on this one but the two that i did see they said that it doesn't last too long you would definitely have to overspray this one you would definitely have to overspray this one because it's it's so light and soft that for it to like last or like for you to like project you would definitely have to overspray for it to be like okay yeah smell me before you see me and that's what i want okay i want you to smell me before you see me okay that's that's personally what i want but it is cute it is very cute do not get me wrong I feel as though it's very cute. It's not, it's not childish, but it's very girly. I like it, I do like it. I think I would spray something else with it so that way it can last longer. You know what it's giving me? Not exact, 
not exact. Okay, yeah, it's giving me a Burberry herd. Now, hear me out clearly. They are cousins, not sisters, okay? They have the same... How can I put this? Like they, they, they give me the same vibe, but they're very different, right? So like it, it's giving me, it's giving me the springtime scent. This one more spring, summer, winter, spring, but it still has that like springtime scent. And I feel as though these two together would complement and not clash. Now it would definitely depend on which one you want to smell like more. This one, I will say this one is lighter than Burberry Her though. But again, cousins, not sisters, okay? Probably even second cousins, okay? So like, it's there, but it's not the same, right? Like it's, 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 it's there, but not, not equal. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. It is a gorgeous scent. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this. It does smell really nice. And next we have Club de Noit by Armath. Oh, I didn't realize, but it has like a little rhinestone right there, which is like indicative of the bottle. I've definitely seen how the bottle looks. I know it has like those, those um thing, the same rhinestone. So this is the top, it comes with a little pamphlet, okay. Oh, and it just tells you all of the Club de Nuit. Ah, oh, okay. It has all of the uh, Club de Nuit, all of the different perfumes that they have. I have Club de Nuit Woman, and it says, developed with exquisite detail and generous luxury, this art of perfumery demands impeccable craftsmanships put together by immaculate skill passion for the art and pride in the finest ingredients all right you sold me but wait there's more fervently researched through time and created with only the rarest and best of ingredients each fragrance is an experience like no other allowing both women and men to unlock memories and shape experiences abound i mean okay Okay, you told me. Okay. Now the one that I have, it says, it is described as, a scent is an impression beyond the concept of time and space, opening gates to other realms. As long as you're taking it to my higher self, <laughs> okay. The one that's a billionaire, we good. Open up all the gates you want and all the other realms, as long as I reach my full potential. This bottle, I mean, not bottle, the box. You see that? Like, it's no type of security. Security! No type of structure, nothing. All right. Now I'm off. You, you see, you, you, you see what happened? I'm gonna go pull it out and a damn cap fall off the bottom. Now if my hand wasn't there to cradle it and it broke a mush up, you gonna send me another one? I spent my good on money on this, you know? And anyways. Other than, mis than that mishap, Club de Nuit, very nice packaging. It is very heavy, so freaking heavy. No wonder why I almost dropped it. The bottle is ridiculously heavy. This doesn't move, it's like stuck on. I don't mind that. I think it's a cute little detail. The cap had, it looks like a dice. It has like the, the rhinestones going around it. It's nice and heavy though, okay. So this one is very citrusy, 
in the open. I'm usually not a citrus girl. It gives me too much of a clean vibe. So I, I'm not too sure how I feel will feel about this one. In the top, notes are orange, grapefruit, bergamot, and peach. Okay. The middle is rose, jasmine, gergamine, geranium, ger geranium, okay. geranium and leche. And the base is patchouli, vanilla, musk, and vetiver. All right, let's let's see what this one is talking about. The atomizer is actually really nice. I like it. I like how that sprayed. I sprayed it four times now. Let me. You know, oh yeah, I definitely get that grapefruit. Definitely get that grapefruit. I didn't, I was skeptical because I was like, dang, like that's a lot of citrus. I don't really like citrus, especially like lemon, lime. I don't really like it because like I said, it gives it like a clean scent and I don't understand why people want to smell clean. Why not just take a sh I digress. I don't understand why people want to smell clean. <laughs> take a shower. I'll just smell amazing all day long. Bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's beside the point. This one. Okay, I'm getting a peach. I'm getting a peach. I actually like this one. Dare I say, no wait, no wait. Let me not, let me not jump ahead. Yeah, I, okay, I smell the orange. On my skin, I smell orange. That leche is, is, is pushing through now. The leche is pushing through. I'm not mad at it. Dare I say it? Okay. See, because from the scent profile, I would have sworn I would have loved the Harm Wade. Wadi? Again, correct me. But from the spray. <laughs> from the juice. Club de Norit. Okay, wait a minute, cause I do, I do get, I do get that that clean, that that like clean scent, but that peach and that leche. I'm gonna say it, it's it's it's, I feel like it's something I haven't smelled before, so I'm thinking it's a vetiver, but I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh my god, I like it. this, 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 this one, club de Noé. I, I, I thought for sure, for sure, the hum while they would have had it. If I was supposed to bet my money, I would have lost, okay? Because I thought this would have had it. Again, this is cute. This is cute. This is cute. It is cute. I might give it to my niece. I don't know yet. I don't know. But I might. I might. Because it's, it's cute. It's cute. It's definitely cute. It's definitely a picnic. It's definitely a stroll. Not even a stroll. Well, yeah, like, like a stroll, but like a stroll where? Cause it, it's not giving me beach vibes. It's not giving me beach vibes, but it's definitely giving me. Okay. It's giving me a stroll on Coney Island. Midday, not night, not night. No, 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 not night. But definitely midday. Right? It's definitely giving me just a soft, like, like just a soft, 
we're going on a picnic we're gonna have fruit it's giving me soft girl vibes right again not childish but definitely girly this one this one is giving me this one is giving me what is this one giving me okay this one we're at the beach mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. we are at the beach with this one and we are sunbathing okay we're not we're not necessarily going into the water but we're there for the vibes we're there for the breeze we're there for a tan you know what i'm saying like like we want to be golden that's what this one is giving me this this one is giving me brunch this one is giving me brunch this one is this one's giving me brunch with bottomless mimosas this one is giving me i'm here with my friends with my good friends and we're going to have a good time this one is giving me i am here to have fun and relax and just enjoy okay that's what this one is giving me this one is and it's like it's drying down and i pick up on the patchouli but the orange is still there so it's giving me like a clean but depth I, am i making sense does that make sense this one is wow this one's surprising this one is surprising this one I, I wasn't expecting this one. Wow. Oh, yeah. And like, this is like 3D, it says Club de Nuit on the side, but it's like 3D risen, so like you can actually feel it. And then it says Club de Nuit Woman on the bottom and it's like engraved like it's not even like a sticker it's engraved and the juice oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah uh-huh yeah yeah i'm really i'm shocked I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm gonna be reaching for this one quite a lot. I can tell you that right now. I am going to be reaching for this one quite a lot, okay? Is that opening? Is that opening like? I usually don't love a citrus open, like, um, what is it, Tiffany and Co. and Love, I believe it's called. I'll post up a picture of which one I mean. I don't necessarily like that one, but I want to have it because the bottle's so cute. But it's like, do I really want to spend all that money just for a cute bottle? <laughs> I think not. But this one, I feel like Sunrise. Does that make any sense? It just smells good. It just smells good. It just smells good. It just smells good. It just smells so good. If I can't convince you to get no other perfume, please let me convince you to get this one give me a moment let me let me go on amazon and see if any of the reviewers compared it to a different cologne i mean different perfume someone said it gives i'm rich i can see that mm -hmm. okay some people are saying that it smells like chanel coco mademoiselle let me google that one because i don't really like chanel scents they just don't do it for me. To me, Chanel perfumes smell very much so <laughs> old womanish. I'm sorry they do. Matter of fact, no, I'm not sorry. They do. They they smell very old lady, mature. You know what I mean? Like I already have grandkids that are grown type of vibe. I I just I don't like Chanel perfumes. I'm looking up the notes now to see if there's any any type of similarities coco chanel is orange mandarin orange bergamot and orange blossom so we have the orange and the bergamot is the same coco mademoiselle i'm just gonna call it cm from here on out okay the middle notes in cm is turkish rose turkish rose jasmine mimosa and yang yang lang lang <laughs> uh all right 
in Club de Nuit is Rose and Jasmine. And the base of CM is patchouli, white musk, vanilla, vervetter, vet viver, vet vet iver, I think that's how you say it, tonka bean, and opoponox, opoponox, what is that? Opoponix, or opoponox. Eau de Profile is an intensely sweet, balsamic, warm, spicy fragrance. Okay, I've never heard of that. Oh, it's in Kenzo Flower. And I love Kenzo Flower, by the way. Yes, it smells like baby powder, but it's, it's very, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but I do love Kenzo Flower. And it's actually one of my most repurchased perfumes. Anyway, so I can see the similarities. Now, I haven't tried Coco Mademoiselle yet, as I mean, I never tried it ever, but the few Chanel perfumes that I have tried, it just, it just seemed overpriced and overhyped. Maybe I would like Coco Mademoiselle, since it does have similar notes to Club de Nuit, but why would I buy Coco Mademoiselle for a hundred, two hundred dollars when I have this? for $20. No, I, I'm good with this. It smells good. It's the, it's the opening. I am telling you, it's the opening. It just smells so good. It just smells so good. I'm too happy. Anyways, listen. Oh, by the way, these are all blind buys. I, I haven't sampled them. I haven't smelled them. I literally, I'm sorry, I'm still, I'm still smelling Club de Nuit. That smells good. But yeah, in, in another video, I'll show you how I, how I blind buy all of my perfumes so I can know which ones I would like. Yeah, Club de Nuit is the clear <laughs> winner for me. Ever since I read the comment that said, it smells like I'm rich, it really does give off that vibe. <laughs> But it gives off, it doesn't give off boss babe vibes. It gives off, this is my daddy's money. Does that make sense? It's giving off, this is my daddy's money. If I can convince you to buy one, just one, mind you, this is not sponsored. I'm not affiliated. I ain't getting nothing, okay? Not a cent. And I bought them, I brought both of these out of my own wallet okay out of my own bank account okay I, I purchased these with my own money basically that's, that's all i'm trying to say <laughs> and if i could convince you it would be club the weed it would it would be club the weed daron wade is cute she's cute she's cute you could definitely wear this to class you could definitely wear it to work and it not be overpowering and not be offensive you know, in case anybody have allergies, it won't really, I don't think it would really uh, affect anyone. So this would be great for work. But baby, if you want, if you want to stand out, you want to let people know that like, listen, don't play with me. Club the new weeds. Club the new weeds. All right, friends. That's all that I have, okay, for today and these two perfumes. Now, like I said, if you want to know between the two, definitely Club de Nuit. I've said this probably 15 times. I'm going to say it 15 more times. Club de Nuit is the one to go with if you're looking for something that smells good on a budget. Okay. Okay. So thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. And if you made it this far, go ahead and comment this secret emoji so I can know that you my best friend. And as always, with love and 243 kisses. Bye friends.